All right, so let's have a look at this exam question. So this question here, it's a very typical question. It carries around 10 marks uh, for it and there are two parts to this. So you've got find dy over dx in terms of x and y, fully simplifying your answer. And part B, find the values of y for which dy over dx is equal to zero. So let's do the first part, which is to find dy over dx. We're gonna differentiate this implicitly, where we see our y, what we do, we do, where we see a product, we deal with the product, using the product rule, yeah? And then we're gonna make dy over dx the subject. So we're gonna factorize things out and make dy over dx on its own. So let's go and do that. So what do we get when we differentiate here? What happens first? So we get two x plus, 2y and it's a y so therefore dy over dx plus 10 plus 2 and then dy over dx. Now we've got the product rule applied here yeah. So what we're going to do is we can say u is equal to let's say 4x and v is equal to y. So the differentiation of u is 4 and the differentiation of v is dy over dx. So now let's put the product rule together, but let's write it here. Okay, so um, we are going to have a minus and I'm going to put this into brackets because you know the minus may affect what's inside the bracket. So 4x times that, so therefore 4x dy over dx plus uh, v times the differentiation of u, so therefore 4y, so plus 4y and we close this and then what happens to the 10? becomes a zero, okay? So that is that differentiated. Let's just put this in a box so we know that it's not part of what we've just done there. Well, it is, but it's not part of that line. Now, what we are going to do is, um, if you want to take out the, sh shall we take out those um, brackets? Yeah, so if we take out the bracket, which sign gets affected? This one, right? So this one's going to become a minus. It's going to become a negative. So we can remove that. And that's what we can move forward with, yeah? Now we are going to simplify this. We want to keep the dy over dx on one side and we're going to send everything else over to the other side, yeah? So let's keep that here. So let's factorize out the dy over dx as well. So we've got this, so we're going to have 2y here. And we've got this one, so therefore what we're going to have here? Plus 2. And we've got this, so what we're going to have next? Minus 4x. So that's that. And that, the 10, and the minus four will shift over to the other side. So let's start with the minus four, make it a positive. So four y minus 10 minus two x, okay? And you could write this in any order. You could write four y minus two x minus 10. It's not a problem. Next, we're gonna get this over to this side. So we have dy over dx is equal to four y minus 10 minus two x all over two y plus two minus four x. And we need to fully simplify, and what's that step? Divide by two, we can divide everything by two. So we can do this here, so we get two y minus five minus x all over y plus one minus two x. And this is the fully simplified answer for dy over dx. Right, the next part of this question says find the values of y for which dy over dx is equal to zero. So let's do that over here, if we can squeeze this in. So we wanna find the values of y for which dy over dx is equal to zero. So this is dy over dx. Let's make this equal to zero right there, yeah? So we've made this equal to zero and we wanna solve this. So we're gonna solve this right there. So what's my step number one to solve this? I get rid of this denominator, how? by multiplying this denominator on this side. Now when I multiply this entire denominator over onto this side with a zero, what do I end up with? Zero. So I end up with zero is equal to this line, two y minus five minus x. Now, if you go back and read the question, it says find the values of y for which dy over dx is equal to zero. So what I can do right there is I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna change the form, I'm gonna go back to the original and I'm gonna substitute something from here to leave me with values of y to solve. So what will I need to make the subject here? So I can sub it in there. 
x. I'm going to make x a subject. So x can come over to this side, becoming a positive as well. So 2y minus 5. And that is what x is. Now I will take this value of x and every time I see an x in here, I will put 2y minus 5. You got it? So I'm just going to get rid of all of this. So to continue, we are going to sub uh, x is equal to 2y minus 5 into our equation here. So what do we get first? We get 2y minus 5 squared plus y squared plus 10 times 2y minus 5 plus 2y minus 4 times 2y minus 5 times y is equal to 10. And we just expand the brackets out um, appropriately. So let's do this here. So what do we get here? We get 4y squared and then 2 times 5 is 10 and then we've got two lots of that so we get minus 20y plus 25. That's that done. So plus y squared and then we multiply this bracket out. So what do we get? 20y minus 50 and then plus 2y and then multiply this out. So minus 8y and then minus and a minus is a plus. So plus 4 times 5 is 20. Oh, and we've got this y as well. So this y will multiply with this, giving this a square and this just a y. Yeah, we almost forgot that one. And then we've got our 10 here. Step after this um, is to collect all the like terms and tidy up, all right? So let's have a look. We've got 4y squared. We've got one more y squared, that's 5. And 5 take away 8. So therefore that's minus 3y squared. And then let's look, so let's just get rid of this. Okay, let's look at the 20, minus 20y plus 20y cancels. So they sort of say goodbye already. And then you got 2y and 20y. So therefore, plus 22y. So let's get rid of that. So what's next? We've got the 25, we've got the minus 50, and we've got the 10. We're going to keep this here. So what's 25 minus 50? Minus? 25 and then we're going to move the 10 over so minus 25 and another minus 10 is going to be minus 35 equals 0 now you can make this all positive so move all of this over to the other side so you get 3y squared minus 22y plus 35 equals 0 and you've got a quadratic so you've got the calculators now that can solve your quadratic for you so if you do put this into your calculators You'll be able to do it for you, or you can do your double brackets, whatever you fancy. So what's y equals, please? Two values for y. So you got one is y equals 5, and y equals 7 over 3. So y equals 5, y equals 7 over 3, and they are your values of y as the question required you to answer for part B.